start the tribute to Mr. Al Bell. Some of you all may remember Mr. Bell as the head of the Stack Recording Organization. He did the Rock Stack concert out in Rock in Los Angeles, California. This is one of the first live assembly of thousands of people in the country at that time in America. And it was done right here by the Stack Recording Organization and by this gentleman that we're going to be introducing this show. We're going to be live streaming him in this show. So how you doing today, ladies and gentlemen? I know many of you are probably from other parts of the country. So you all being live streamed all over the world Right here at BB King from Bill Street USA and BB King Boulevard. So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to call up, so we're about to do some things to share some awards with Mr. Bell. So can we get City Council and Ed Fuller to come down to the to the podium down here? City Council and Ed Fuller. Edmund Gold. And then we also, we know that city court clerk, Myron Lowry, we know he's in the audience. And we're going to recognize Myron Lowry from where he's sitting. And so when we get Councilman Ed, Edmund Gold, oh, here he's coming now, I see here he's coming now. Mayor Strickland was going to be here to see he had told me that he was going to sing the uh, one of those Sam and Dave songs, but I think he sent Ed Fuller to sing the song. So he was singing for us tonight. He told me he was singing in a special place. Okay, so he's not going to sing, but we're going to turn the mic over to Mr. Fuller. Mr. Ford is going to make a presentation to Mr. Al Bell. We're going to, we're going to live stream Mr. Bell in. We're going to live stream Mr. Bell in. And he can see you, he can hear you, and you will be able to hopefully to hear him. Can we get everybody's attention over in the VIP room? Everybody in the VIP room, can we get everybody's attention in the, in the, uh, the VIP room? Those are the very important people like right that, in that room right there. And so we're asking the very important people to let us get your attention. Okay? So I'm going to turn it over to Councilman Ed Fuller. Evening, everybody. I'll get everybody to sing one verse in a little while. Y'all may remember this verse, and it came from Al Bell. Okay? What I really want to say first is just congratulations to Al Bell. Uh, I'm not going to tell my age, but I go back to the stacks. A lot of the ones that were with stacks, and like Isaac Clay, we had the staple singers, we had Booker T, Jesus, the Moses, the Barcase, everybody we attended here. Stacks was one of the leading recording places. Yeah. We got a mad lad in here. Yeah. Raise your hands. That you got all right. Y'all the same on the corner. Didn't need no instruments or anything. It's the same in that time. You know. You get the elbow, you got the eye cage, all of them are writing. I don't want to sing A lot of them don't know what the history was during that time. Rufus Thomas. You know, Carl Thomas. You had 
just about everybody. In Memphis is a music city. We had some of the greatest. And reading all the different things about Al Bell, somebody may not remember one person that he had a song that did nobody else want to. And that was Prince's song. And Prince's song, some of y'all, and I had to pull it up from the wife. She said, I don't remember that song until we pulled it up. But Prince's song, it was the most beautiful girl in the world. Prince. So he had a lot of things going on with him. Bell. And I got to really say what his real name. They call him Al Bell, but his name was Albertus Isbo. That, that's his real name. He came from Little Rock, Arkansas. You know, he was a cult on the staff. There you go. He came, got it, and did everything. And then when he closed here, he was the president of the Motown Records Group. You know, they were glad to help us. They took all our musicians and all our things and everybody that we have here in Memphis, Tennessee. You know. The mayor couldn't be here tonight, but he sent a proclamation. I'm not going to read it all, but there's one thing that I want everybody to do. Sing with me with one verse. And y'all may remember what it is. Al Bell started his own label, Bellmark, who released, in, his releases included Tag Team Single. And it was, oops, there it is. Y'all may remember that. So I want everybody to just say it together. Oops, there it is. Oops, there it is. Hot Al Bell, great man. Man. You know, uh, some of the people that he was part of, and a lot of people may not know, yeah, Jesus Pryor, Isaac Payne, Otis Redding, Johnny Taylor, Albert King, Bart Kane, Rufus, Carl Thomas, Stapleton, many, many others that this man had been. Fight something! Many people knew this particular man. And I just want to let it know that the mayor sends this proclamation and what I'm doing, I'm going to be giving from the city council another certificate of recognition to Mr. Al Bell for the appreciation of outstanding contributions to the community. And I want him to know, you just keep it up. Keep it up. History. You know. And I'm about through because I don't say too much. But I want y'all to say it one more time. Say, oof, that is. Oof, that is. Oof, that is. Oof, that is. Congratulations, man, baby. Award that we're giving the Hot Butter Soul Award 
is presenting for Mr. Bell. And I'd like to know, let's give, give, give my brother Phil a walk of hand. This is the award that we're presenting to you, Mr. Bell. And I'll set it, just wait a minute, let me take this photograph. We'd like to get some words from Mr. Bell so we get everybody's attention a moment where we can let Mr. Bell speak some things. We'd like to let everybody come. I know you're having a good time. We want you to. We want you to have a good time. But let's let Mr. Bell say something here for a minute. Okay, Mr. Bill. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see Attorney Dum Don is here. All right, Mr. Bill. Mr. Bill is going to speak now. Let's get down to some music here, ladies and gentlemen. 
and we have a group from Miami. A couple of them live in Memphis, but they just been fooled and drove out. Not drove, but flew all the way from Miami, Florida, to sing for you. Mr. Jeff, Mr. Justin Food is the gentleman that's going to take Merle Haggard's place. He's going to take Johnny Cash's place. He's going to take, uh, what's the old gentleman's name? Uh, uh, what's that other gentleman's name? We've got Merle Haggard and, and Johnny Cash. And he's also going to take William Jennings' place, ladies and gentlemen. So let's give Justin Spoon and the, the, the team a hand, ladies and gentlemen. That song was the first, that, that was one of my first songs that I wrote. 
Let's go more in a little while and miss out on Apple Music, Spotify, anywhere you listen to music, it's there. You can look me up, Justin Schools, and that was more in a little while.
great people that became a success in Memphis and throughout America. Here's the gentleman that was on the Jay Leno show, Burning Hat. Y'all got to say, he's a, he's a barber and he know how to cut hair with fat. And you all live it on the Warren Lewis, I mean on the, the Jay Leno show. Mr. Warren Lewis, ladies and gentlemen. All right, all right, all right. You gonna come up a minute or you want to? Now he's about, has been really blessed. He walked in here, you'd be surprised at his age. But he walked in here. Mr. Thank you. 
Y'all been great. You got a whole lot of other good artists coming up here. I just see the Amber King Jr. I know they're gonna do a put on a great show. I know it's been an honor and a pleasure. Thank you, Ziad. Albert, Stacks, thank you very much. Just there in the mad lab, we still living. How you all like Chili Bill? Let's give him a big, great round of applause. This is a tribute to Al Bell. Many of you have heard of Mr. Bell. Mr. Bell brought us Richard Pryor. He brought us Otis Redding. He brought us Isaac Hayes. He brought us Albert King Sr. And we got Albert King Jr. I just saw him a minute ago. They were like 90 feet, 90 pounds. Okay, but he'll be back. Okay, so we want to pay tribute briefly because we know you all know the music. So we want to briefly thank Count City Court Clerk Myron Lowry for being here. He's over there whining and dining on the second floor over there. And we do have an award for him that we want to give him for all the work and the great sacrifice that he have done to uplift the economic and educational and cultural and political and business success here in the city of Memphis. He's even a former mayor of Memphis. He has have, have done a lot of things for the city. So I want to give Mr. Khalilah Cole to come down and take him in the wall. Can we get Mr. Khalilah Cole to come down and get Myron Lawrence a award and break, take it up there to him? Here comes Ms. Cole here now. I'm going to reach over here and get the award while she's coming down. Let's give her a hand while she's coming down. that we have done here in Memphis and Sierra County. And uh, so I'm going to give this award to Councilman, I mean, City Court Clerk. He done, had, he done won so many of He worked so well until we done just made him everything. And so we're going to give this award to Mr. Lito. Mr. Lito Coke. And uh, so she can take it up there. So she can take it up there to him. Come from the city court clerk, can you raise your hand so she can? Okay. So she's going to bring that up. Let's give him a hand as she takes. Give the wall up there to him. City Council, I mean, I keep saying City Council. City Court Clerk, Myron Lowry. Now, Miss Cole is going to sing in too. She's got something for you, too. And uh, so we're going to be getting ready for her as well. So we got a whole lot of music that we're going to be presenting here at the Al Bell Tribute sponsored by the Hot Butter Soul Award. And while we're getting ready for the musical suit, we're going to call Willie Mitchell's nephew up. Willie Mitchell, I'm sure many of you have heard of him. Al Green, you know. Phil Johnson, O.B. Wright, and, and a lot more. 
and people. So we're the midst of not all of that to us. So we want to introduce without further ado his nephew, Mr. William Mitchell. And Mr. William Mitchell is with Starlight Militant. So if you're looking for a house, call Mr. William Mitchell. But let me get out of the way and let him say some things next. Give him a hand. Thank you, Mr. Z. I understand Mr. Al Bell was listening, and to him too, I bring the greetings from the Mitchell family and the famous Royal Studios, including Fawn and Lowe and Boo and Anna and the rest of the gang. And of course, my beloved Uncle Willie Mitchell, who I miss dearly, and was a fifth and true colleague and friend of Mr. Al Bell. All right. And I hope he's with me. You know, in the movie, Coach Carter, played by the incomparable Samuel L. Jackson, he found himself in a position of having to go back to the old neighborhood, a poor neighborhood, to coach these boys, his old team, his old school, because they were losing, they were undisciplined, and they didn't want to pay attention. And Mr. Jackson, in his pursuit of excellence, his pursuit of uncompromising dedication and passion to excellence, transform them into winners, and not only winners, but scholars. You know, a similar path there with our honoree tonight, Mr. Al Bell, he did go into one of the poorest areas of Memphis, Tennessee, and took on this little known record company using his musical skills, passion for excellence, promotional genius, and led this record company on the world stage. Do you believe that? In doing so, he had the wisdom to bring little teenagers and give them the opportunity. How about that Marquez and Booker T. Jones? Combining that with the skillful talents of David Porter and Isaac Hayes and the rest of them. You know, amidst these struggles and hardships of being on top, this black man had the audacity to purchase controlling interest of this multi million dollar record company. Um, well, it seems though. There was those who felt a little uncomfortable with that. So the evil ones, some of them call them the Pharisees, uh, Mr. Ziyah, began to plot on him. And you know, for there to be redemption, there has to be a sacrificial man. I think you know that. Little did they know that Stax recorded Al Bale would rise again in this music 50 years later. Man, you, it's still in the hearts and the ears of all of the world. So Mr. Bale, if you're listening, sir, we salute you. We, we, we honor you tonight. We thank you for what, you, what you've done for the great city of Memphis and the music industry of the world. Thank you so much, Mr. Al Bailey. Thank you, sir. Right, right. Thank you, Mr. Wendell, Mr. Mitchell, 
Mr. William Mitchell, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give him a big hand. Okay, we get, I think the music is still just about ready. They cooking it. And while they're cooking it, we're gonna call up another great friend, Mr. Al Bell. In fact, this was his attorney of some of the 50 lawyers that he had for various trials that he was dealing with. We're from the Neal and Howell Law Firm, one of the biggest law firms in America, in fact. This is the same law firm that Richard Nixon had to run into. And when Neil and Lock Hartwell got through, Richard Nixon resigned. This is the law firm that dealt with Jimmy Hopper on some things. And Jimmy Hopper took a vacation. And so without further ado, let's get attorney Dun Dun with the Neil and Hartwell law firm. Let's give him a hand as he come up, ladies and gentlemen. I know uh, you good people would prefer to listen to music and you can wait to have a good time, so you can take your time for uh, Muhammad has done his homework. We're not one of the biggest law firms, but we're one of the best. And it's my honor to be here trying to stand in the shoes of my senior partner, who sadly is no longer with us. But he's the reason I'm here because he represented Al Bell in 1976. And I would say it was a racially motivated case, and Al came out on top. And if Jim Neal were here today, he would probably take credit for most of Al's career. Uh, on my part, I grew up listening to Stax music, to Carla Thomas, to Otis Redding, to Otis and Carla Thomas, uh, sacred singers, and it came as a surprise to me when I learned a few months ago that Al actually wrote one of the biggest hits, one of my favorite songs. I'll take you there. If you guys know the staple singers, you know that song. So I'm here today to give my good wishes to Al and to honor the contribution that he has made to American music and to make his citizen. Thank you. Just thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you have always a lot involved when you're in big business. You know, sometimes in big business you have to, you know, battle a little bit, and then you also celebrate. You have a good time too. And so with the battle, those the Mr. Attorney Don Don and like I said, about 50 more lawyers. Mr. Bell had a battery of lawyers. And uh, they had to go to ballot sometimes. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get to some more music. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, No, I think we're going to go and get you some more music here. It's Prophetess Libra in the house. It's Prophetess Libra in the house. Can we get Prophetess Libra to come down? Prophetess Libra we call her Miss Entertainment. <laughs> so she is going to entertain you. Like I told you about Chili Bill, I'm telling you the same thing about Miss Entertainment. 
that Chili Bill, Mr. Entertainer, entertain you. Now here comes another just like the other. She's gonna entertain you and tantalize you too. And she's gonna be mesmerizing as she is tantalizing and entertaining you. So I think she's coming down in step here right now. And uh, I thought I saw her. Oh, I see her, I see her. Here she comes now. Now when I first heard Prophet just leave I had my eyes closed and I thought Chaka Khan was in the room. And then I opened my eyes and closed them again. I thought maybe Staples was in the room. Then when I opened them up clearly and you could see, I said, no, that's probably just legal. So let's give Prophet this legal up a hand, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to turn all this over to her. She's got it. We need to get the background girls to come on up.
呀。
trust and believe they know about Memphis and they're not of a compromise.
another song in there right too. Is that okay? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's,
All right, ladies and gentlemen, how did you all like that? And would you believe that we still got some more music? But before we get to it, we're going to call up one of our legendary blues guitarist and singer. He did a lot of playing for the guest house at Graceland and the Philip Presley like listening to his guitar. And uh, we're going to get him down here to say some things in tribute to Mr. Al Bell. Mr. William Gandy, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give him a hand. Some of you all may know the Gandy family here in Memphis, you know. They are way around this pretty popular family here in the city. And they do a whole lot in business. And, uh, and William is branching out into the music industry, which he's been in for some time now. In fact, I got the barbershop blues at the house. I've been playing it. And, uh, and I got the mama's big boat book that he wrote. I got that sitting in the house too. Mr. William Gandy, ladies and gentlemen. And he's going to make a few comments regarding Mr. Alvaro. Uh, right here it comes. Now let's give Mr. Albert King Jr. a hand, ladies and gentlemen. I was watching him as they were playing, and I saw his daddy looking right at him on that photograph right there. And he was looking proud like he was proud of it. Right now, is it okay if Mr. Alvin King Jr. take a picture down by his father? Y'all want to take a picture? Right there, that's his father, Alvin King Sr. And y'all just heard it. We spoke out real loud. How did you all like Alvin King Jr.? All right, all right, all right. Okay, all right, Mr. Mr. Gandy. Mr. Gandy is going to say a few things and check to Mr. Bell and something else. He is saying yes, he may want to check. Hey, hey, how y'all doing? Real fast. We certainly like to say uh, thank to Mr. Al Bell and uh, all the uh, contribution that he allowed to happen in this city of the stats and to my, my good friend, uh, uh, Mr. Muhammad Ziar, for uh, having the uh, award show. Hey, I'm right at home. I was raised up right down here in this part of town. I stayed right there next to St. Patrick. I was raised up right here playing on Hill Street and all that good stuff. Hey, I want you guys to. Uh, to uh, uh, go on Amazon Prime and, and check out my stage play that I made history during the last year as being the first black man to do a stage play during a pandemic. The name of the stage play is Grandma's Big Boat. If you go back to 2008, you will remember uh, the old lady that voted for Barack Obama and it made national news my grandmother, Miss Mary Ann's again. I did a children book about her life and you know, so that's what the play when now we're now doing the movie. So please, uh, go to Amazon Prime, uh, On Demand, and Roku, and check out the stage play right here from Memphis. Hey, and go on out and go on my uh, YouTube channel and uh, listen to my music. I got some good music out there. God bless you, and thank you, Dr. Z. Thank you, sir. Let's give Mr. Gandhi a hand, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Gandhi, Mr. Gandhi, let me get a photograph right to here. Let me get it. Oh, yeah. On this million dollar deal, man. Let's give him a hand again. Okay, we got some more music. Exodus. Exodus. I know they're somewhere in the building, right? Okay, all right, y'all can okay, come on up. Come on up. Okay, ladies and 
and gentlemen, we got Exodus, the reggae band. One of the best reggae bands in the Mid-South. And they're going to really touch your heart here in a few minutes. The Exodus reggae band, ladies and gentlemen. something special for you. And you, and you, and you, and you, and you. And they can get everything assembled here. And uh, I'm going to get out of you all's way so you all can get everything together here. I mean, this is really going to be something here. I mean, you all, I know you thoroughly enjoy what so we have presented so far. In this tribute to Mr. Al Bell. Because Mr. Bell presented all the time for music. He presented God with the God the truth label. Yeah. 
at the Liberty Memphis Street. She's an active reggae band at the Memphis in the music. And ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the Exodus Reggae Band, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, 
know what we talking. We talking some serious stuff. Are you ready? Give me a little drums and bass. A little drums and bass. You got me, but you, 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 you. 